Hi everybody, it's Kelton Sway from Franklin, Tennessee. And this is Matt, my buddy. Hey guys, I'm Matt Dyer. <laughs> He's a guitar slinger here in town. He's come by to check out some of my guitars. And uh, so I, was, I figured I'd ask him some honest questions about his first experience <laughs> with my instruments. So fire away, Matt. Do you have anything you'd like to say about these guitars? Uh, well, for one, I gotta say, this has gotta be hands down one of the best guitars I've played. And I was skeptical coming in. Uh, I played a lot of guitars and stuff, so you just never know how they're going to stack up. And not even if they're bad, but if, just, if it's just another guitar. And these are not just another guitar at all. Um, we played a few of them here, but this is the one I settled on. Just the response, the feeling of it, it's nothing I can get with a, with a factory Fender at all. And I don't, I don't know, I can't even describe what it exactly is, but... Uh, it's just, it's got a human touch to it almost in response to where it's just like a voice. So, yeah, it's uh, by far, I think, the best uh, best guitar I've ever played. Thank you so much. How, how's the overall weight of the neck and playability, tone, all that stuff? What well, do you that's, think? Yeah, the, the first thing I noticed, pick, just picking it up, um, my Telecast drive now, it's a brick. Uh, so, especially on four-hour gigs, I get shoulder pain all the time. So, this thing... It's extremely light. Uh, you can just feel how like lightweight the wood is and everything. And Kelton explained to me, you know, how uh, the process you go through to do that and everything. And I think that extra uh, extra step really really helps in the end. And in the tone and playability, that's what I was saying. Uh, there's a sweet spot up right up there that you don't hardly even have to play, and it still has a full full body to the sound, but the notes are clear. Um, that's another problem I've struggled with on some stock fenders and stuff, uh, not to rag on fender at all, but uh, there's, there's this lack of clarity in the notes a lot of times. And uh, this, man, like I said, it has that, but it still has that attack to it. And, uh, and it does without really having to try to drag that out of it at all. You don't really have to drag it out of it, it's just right there. So you're not fighting with your guitar? No, there's there's no fight at all on these. Uh, the the neck radius just feel great. They're uh, they're smooth. They don't stick at all. Um, yeah, I hate sticky necks. Yeah, no, I, especially this time of year when you're doing a lot of outdoor stuff and uh, if you're playing downtown and they have the windows open and stuff. I've ran into a lot of it where I've got to keep a rag and just keep wiping it down because otherwise I've I was playing a gig the other day and I could barely move fluidly at all. I was moving a fret at a time, but he just kept, my hand kept just sticking up there, so, uh, no, it's, it's great on that. Uh, they stay in tune fantastic. Uh, yeah, there's, there's not a bad thing I can say about these, and they're beautiful, too. Like I said, the, uh, the relicing on them and everything, they're, it is looks... It, is it realistic? Yeah, it's, it's extremely realistic. There's no, uh, there's no suspect, uh, relicing in places like you get on some of them. But, uh, no, once again, like I said, from aesthetics, from playability to tone, they are uh, easily the best guitar I've ever played. Oh, thank you so much. So, no problem. Play us a little something All right. so people can see what you do. That is awesome. Well, thank you, brother. I really appreciate you taking the time out to visit. I appreciate it, Kevin. All right, brother. Take care now.